Hey y'all, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be continuing on with our monthly collaborations with Melissa and Christy with I'm Merely Melissa and Christy's Farmhouse. Um, this month we're doing Thanksgiving dishes. It is the month of November, so we're gonna go ahead and try to tackle Thanksgiving dishes. I am going to try the Texas Roadhouse, the copycat Texas Roadhouse um, rolls. I normally just make either biscuits or um, I'll make my, one of my bread recipes and then just break them off into dinner rolls or buy, you know, um, the ones that come pre-packaged. You just kind of pull them out, let them um, rise and thaw, and then you just bake them. Um, I wanted to try the Texas Roadhouse ones to see how good they are, so I figured I'd do them with you guys. I also am going to make the butter, so I'm so excited. I did try this recipe yesterday. So depending on which video is the best is the one that I'm going to go with. Um, I'm going to be patient today because I wasn't patient yesterday. I was so excited. I didn't let them proof big enough so they weren't super fluffy. So we're actually going to try a different recipe today. I found another recipe that I want to try and see how that one goes. Of course, I will have everything linked in the description box below on top of the playlist link. Um, so you guys can watch all the other awesome YouTubers who are making side dish sorry my cat's going crazy um other side dishes for thanksgiving don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let's get started okie dokie pokey okay so i'm using a new recipe which is from call me chris krista torres um like i said i will have everything linked i will have whichever recipe i decided to go to also with the recipe that I didn't go with I'm gonna just have everything linked down below um, this one she apparently went to Texas Roadhouse and like interviewed them and try to get some secrets and things like that so the recipe is one cup milk it says whole milk I can't do whole milk because we're lactose intolerant they do have lactose whole milk however we just don't like it so I'm gonna do 2% I'm gonna make it work then you need one and a fourth ounce package of active dry yeast. If you don't have the package, which I don't because I buy my yeast in bulk, that is two and one fourth teaspoon of yeast. That's what's considered in a package. You need a fourth cup of sugar, two tablespoons of honey. I'm just using raw honey. You can use organic, you can use whatever one you like. I'm just gonna use the raw one, um, the great value raw honey. Uh, then you need four tablespoons, which is a half a stick of unsalted butter. However, again, here we go. I don't have unsalted butter. For one, unsalted butter is like super expensive versus salted butter, which makes no sense because there's no salt in it. So I'm just going to half, because then you need a one teaspoon of kosher salt. Instead of that, I'm only going to do a half a teaspoon of kosher salt because I am using salted butter. Um, one large egg at room temperature and three and a half cups of bread flour plus more for dusting and rolling out and stuff. I, bread flour is pretty much this, excuse me, bread flour is pretty much the same thing as unbleached all-purpose flour. You can use that. Just make sure it's unbleached. Um, so yeah, you have to, first things first, you have to Warm the milk in a small saucepan over medium heat until bubbles start to form around the edges of the pie. Then you then reduce to low and continue cooking until it reaches 105. However, a lot of other people that I've watched do it, just put it in the microwave and just kind of keep temping it. Because I did it in the saucepan yesterday and it got hot so fast and I think it didn't work. So, so then you get it to 105. Then you pour more milk into a bowl of the stand mixer. Then add your yeast, sugar, and honey. Gently stir, let sit for 10 to 15 minutes so the yeast can get foam and bubbly and activate. Okay, here we go.
checker, um, thermometer. Uh, I do have my thermometer here, um, and that's how I'm going to use to check it to get to 105. I'm just going to stir it to make sure it's actually all cooked. It's not, you know, partial of it is one and the other part is not. foamy and oh my gosh it's so hard looks great now we're going to um you're going to add half a teaspoon of kosher salt the four tablespoons of our butter and then our one egg that is at room temperature then you're going to mix it um i'm going to do it about one speed maybe two it doesn't say which speed it just says continue mixing, then add a half a cup of flour, which you need three and a half cups, until tacky but not sticky. This will be about seven to eight minutes.
eye gel so it has doubled in size also don't mind me I'm a little crippled right now I burnt the snot out of my hand and I have it all wrapped I have the husband coming in from outside to get lunch got the kids eating um, but it has doubled in size so we're going to punch it down roll it out on a floured surface to about half an inch thick and then you're going to fold it over in a rectangular shape and then we're going to cut it and get 18-ish rolls out of it. and rise until they're double in size and then you put them in an oven at 350 for about eight minutes all right y'all so these have been sitting for over an hour well over an hour and they look amazing look at those you can see how big and fluffy they are they look great so now we're going to um You can do an egg wash or butter. I'm just gonna use butter on them. I have the oven preheating to 350, and then I'm going to top them with some butter, and then we're gonna get them in for about eight minutes. So it's going to be eight tablespoons of butter softened, a half a cup of honey, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and a third cup of powdered sugar. Okay. I can see you. You're good. Mm -hmm. Is that good? Yeah. You like the butter? What? A little one too. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
very good i think half a cup of honey is too much mm -hmm. those are so good they taste just like texas roadhouse mm. minus too much honey okay there's my ham you hear me y'all? My burn. It goes from there up to my finger. So good. Wanna try some? Mm -hmm. I'm busy. Are you getting your smoker ready? Yeah, what time is it? It's like 2 o'clock? Uh huh. Definitely too much honey, but still super good. I'm definitely going to use, make this recipe again. It's super easy, super simple. Um, I want to thank y'all so much for watching and hanging out with me today. Don't forget to try this recipe. Don't forget to check out all the links in the description box and check out everyone else's videos. Again, I want to thank Christy and Melissa. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one.